praise we give you the worship we are your children we worship you we are your
worship you. We worship you. Father, we lift our hands unto the hills, and we say with lifted hands, Shabu kota me la simagande se zulu. Say we bow before you, Lord.
come, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. And I will say, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. You may be seated, saints. We welcome you in the house of the Lord. This is Psalm 133, church. Behold how good and how pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. The Bible says there in Psalm 133, verse 3, because there the Lord has commanded blessings and life forevermore. That's where you are this morning, saints. Hallelujah. We also want to welcome all those who are watching us uh, via the um, live stream, Facebook, YouTube. We welcome you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are watching us via Facebook, please just press share button so that you can share the message with your friends and loved ones so that they will be blessed also with the message that you are going to hear this morning. The Lord is just going to minister to our heart this morning. Hallelujah. Children's Church, we do have the Children's Church uh, for the parents who are there with their children. We want to encourage you just you can take your child to the Children's Church. If you don't know where uh, the place is, you can ask one of our ushers by the door. They will help you, they will assist you, and they will take your, your child there to, to the Children's Church. It's important for your child to be there because they are taught the Word of God according to their age where i mean their age and it's good it's good for them to be to be there for the new converts classes after the service immediately after service if you have just received the lord jesus christ as your lord and personal savior we just want to to encourage you to go to these classes because they help you uh, on the elementary basics of your new found faith you know they will teach you what is salvation if you have questions around salvation they will teach you how to read your bible to pray they will teach you about uh, repentance what is repentance and what god is expecting of you as a child of god they will also teach you about being baptized by water water baptism as you are now a new child of god you need to be baptized by water they will also teach you about baptism of the Holy Spirit, uh, what is, why, why it is important for you to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. They will teach you about faith towards God, having faith in God. They will teach you about tithe and offering. Therefore, if you have any question around tithe and offering, there they will just open scriptures for you and teach you from the word of God what the Bible says about tithe and offering. Therefore, if you are newly saved in our midst, we just want to encourage you to go to those classes and you will truly, truly, truly be blessed by being there. K1, are you here, K1? Yes, 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 yes. It's happening today, immediately after the service. Uh, tribe, culture, and crossover. You are coming together today, the 7th of April. You are going to have a good, good, good time in the presence of the Lord. Therefore, please, if you are young, uh, don't leave after the service. There is going to be a wonderful service for you, young person. Amen. Men on track every Wednesday, 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Men come together here. We have different programs uh, for men on Wednesdays. Now, if you happen to be on leave and you are a man, please come, young and old. Uh, if you are just a man, you can just come. We are having different programs there, and that is beneficiary to you as a man and to other men around you. Therefore, we encourage all men to come, and please invite as many men. It doesn't really matter. Even if they come from other de denominations, they are welcome to come and fellowship with us. And every Saturday, men, young and old, we come in this place for one thing, just to pray. Men ought to pray. Now, every Saturday, 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock, all men uh, are in this place, and we are praying from 6 to 7. Now, if you are a man and you belong to this church, and you have never been in those sessions, we just want to encourage you, please come, and you will really uh, enjoy yourself in the presence of the Lord with other men. Amen. Join Home Fellowship, uh, all believers under the following pastors. Pastor Ngubeni, Pastor Kodisang, and Pastor Kleba. Please note that this coming Tuesday, you are having your joint service here at church. 
it will be here at home. Therefore, at the, it will be on Tuesday, 5 o'clock, uh, you are meeting here. Now, please look at other believers who are under this pastors and who are not here and just send a WhatsApp to them to tell them or remind them that Tuesday we are fellowshipping at KBC as joint services under the Pastor Ngobeni, Pastor Gurisang, and Pastor Kweba. Amen. Support to our musicians. We have uh, our musicians here at home. Please purchase their ma uh, music online and promote our beloved brothers and sisters. We do have Jabulile J, we have Maseka Nkemele, we have uh, Sheikh Mfuleng, uh, we also have uh, uh, Boni Maleke. Please let's support them by Ina. Amen. And lastly, uh, if you happen to be here for the very, very first time, we want to welcome you in the house of the Lord. Can you kindly like, just lift up your hands so that we can see you and welcome you in the house of the Lord? Yes, we welcome you, we welcome you, we welcome you. You won't live here like you came in Jesus' name and you can see the chair that you are seated on, it's yours. Please see you again next week. KBC's Children's Church is a vibrant and dynamic children's ministry that seeks to equip and empower children to become the next generation of godly leaders. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. So join us in Tiny Tots and Kids with Jesus every Sunday when we help children to grow in their relationship with Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. I say the Lord is good. Come rain, come sunshine, the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Well, this is a day that the Lord has made. Thank you, Morena. And uh, when you serve God, you must never allow weather to control you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, Comrade, Comrade. you are a true soldier. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a big hand of praise. Uh, on Friday, I, I had such a special day. That was the day that I looked at my wife and realized she had just turned 60. I was not starting a conversation. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. So, um, the next day, that is yesterday, she got into the plane. And went home to Cape Town. I tell her how Cape Town. <laughs> so she said she just wants to look at the sea. And just thank the Lord for carrying her through such a great milestone. When I married her, she was 24. Sure. Wow. And I was 27. 27. 27 minus 24? 
She's born in April. April. And I'm born in January. Four minus one. Three. <laughs> Okay, four minus one, three. Oh, okay. Amen. Amen. I'm born in 1961. She's born in nine, she's born in 1964. 64 minus 61. Three. <laughs> so you must never made, make a mistake. We are, we are a match made in heaven. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So she's gone, she's gone to be uh, with her mom who is also, her birthday is on Tuesday, on the 9th. I think she's turning 88. Okay. So that's my mother in the law. Dr. Loka. Amen. Amen. I thought kita utwa mewa mlao mara zulukile. But it is just a special moment for us and Jessica. Just to see how the Lord has taken us through as a family. So thank you for your best wishes that you sent. And the Lord greatly bless you those who could. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Now, there's something that the Lord is doing. And I want you to know and understand this. God is planting sons and daughters of this house all over South Africa. The other day, I, I just checked how many pastors came out of this church. Except for those that we have just ordained. Last weekend. The number came to 36. Sure. So we are so grateful unto the Lord for what He's doing. So today we have a couple that comes all the way from Mokopani. 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 Um, and the Lord did something very special with but, their lives. For many years, they have been coming to this church as the Lord would lead them. But just before COVID, they had just left the church here and they are on their way home. And on their way home, in their vehicle, there was a heavy conviction. Uh, I I hope I'll tell the story the way it is. Uh, the husband says he saw his wife crying. And he said to her, uh, babes, Arroyana, babes, have I done anything wrong? She said, no. The Lord is calling me into the ministry. 
that service we have just been to. Now let me backtrack a little bit. They attended our night prayers. They would come here for the night prayers. Listen, driving all the way from Mokopane in Limpopo. Limpopo. They would come here. Yet there are people who are just saying around the corner. You know what's amazing? There was another couple that traveled all the way from northwest northwest coming to this church for three years every Sunday no fail and they would arrive here very early now how do I know the story because that was my brother and his wife there's another family that travels all the way from uh, Ranfontein. There's another family that travels all the way from Boxbeck. Boxbeck and Binoni. And that's a medical doctor. He's with us here every Sunday. And all these people, God spoke to them with a heavy conviction when they were in this house. You've got to come here. Are we still together? Amen. Okay, let's go back to the couple from Mokopane. So, the husband answered the wife and said, that's exactly what I felt when I was in the house of God. So, I was just biding my time to share it with you. So, you jumped the gun with your tears. I'm just putting a little bit of humor to it. Amen. So, when they were going back home, there after COVID hit. So for two years they could not come here. But what happened was in their home they started to have services. People close to them started coming. They said throughout that COVID period they had services. Two no one got COVID. Three. Nobody passed on. Those who were coming there. And the work grew. People were looking where to fellowship. That was the place. When COVID finished, it's a COVID they realized the work has started. God moved them into town. They got a building where they are now having services. And they say to me, Papa, we have done nothing different from what we have seen at KBC. Everything we do is just a, a, a pattern that we saw how you operate there at Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm going to ask just to come here on stage. Come on, KBC, we can do better. So as we speak, they are leading a ministry called Light of Zion Ministries. They love the Lord. They are such capable people in life. And the Lord has greatly blessed them. So, there are so many sons that the Lord has raised. So, they said to me, this Sunday, 
the Lord has just laid it on their hearts to come and be with us here in the fellowship. They left home in the wee hours of the morning. And by past seven, they were here. They drove through a heavy rainstorm. When you are determined to do something for God, nothing should stop you. So I am going to give them just a few minutes to greet the church. And thereafter, I'm going to call our pastors so that we just pray and release the blessing of the Lord upon them. KBC, KBC, what God is doing in this house is greater than you can imagine. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Stephen. My name is Stephen Kekana. Steven, Hallelujah. Stephen Kekana. I, I don't like being called Muruti Pastor and all this. I get out to be some Muruti Pastor in Totetangata. This morning I was led to understand that Ntati uh, Muruto Bishop has got a very, a very humble heart. One of the reasons I was able to connect with him, with my wife, it is because of the heart that he has. Yes. And the very same heart that he has is resonant to my heart. When I met my wife the first time, one of the things that she said in the midst of the storm I was, she said, God instructed her that she must look after my heart. In, in that time, I did not understand what that meant. But as I grew in the Lord and I started understanding the nature of the heart, I could start resonating with what heart is he talking about. And that is the heart that is closer to the fruits of the Spirit. Hallelujah. I am not exalting myself, but I am saying in humility because that's the same heart that we have in our Father. Hallelujah. Amen. With that, I would like to honor Bishop and truly say that we are truly honored to be serving under a head. A giant as you are in the times in the times that we live in. Two minutes ago when we had just arrived, I remembered the days that I started fellowshipping here with my wife. There's a spot because I'm very shy. I used to sit over there. No one knew me. Even at that time, I did not know that I had a calling. But God raised a beautiful wife for me. And she raised her for me set her apart for me because the Bible says I foreknew you and I have predestined you and I have called you 
and I have justified you. I am made righteous today because there was a wife who was resembling the wife that was instructed in the Garden of Eden, the wife that was going to stand against the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the wife that was raised on my account. Not because there's anything special that I am. Because I am not worthy. But through her and by my father in heaven, I was honored and raised by these two giants. I am not afraid to say that before I met her, I did not know that I would stand here today. A few years ago, before I did even found, before I even fathomed that I would stand here, when I was a mere man, when I was lost in the whirlwinds of life I came to this church no one mentored me no one stood before me because I grew up in a family where my father was not very present in my life but every time I sat on that chair I looked at the man that was traversing these stages and I saw myself and I didn't know how God will use me or exalt me because he says once he has called you then he will glorify you today I am glorified because there was a father in the faith that when my father was not available to father me but there was another one that was raised by heavens for me that no bounds of the enemy will keep me down today we have men of men on track that is where many lost fathers find father figures I mean many lost children or boys find father figures because we live in a country that is still suffering the remnants of apartheid of dysfunctional families where fathers they were disintegrated from their family states because of work today children don't know and young men don't know how to stand in family states they don't know how to be fathers they don't know how to be husbands but God knew that in this time they are men like Bishop that will be raised in a time like this to restore manhood amen Hallelujah. Amen. KBC, can we celebrate Jesus? Amen. Can we celebrate Jesus better than that? Glory. Can we celebrate the King of Kings and Lord of Lords? He is King of Zion. He Amen. is the great I am. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Without him, we can do nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It is such an honor to stand on this platform. Hallelujah. Such platforms, they are really like a sweat and blood. So we do not take it for granted. Hallelujah. Amen. Bishop, you are more than a father to us. Bishop, 
and I thank God that I have a time watch in front of me or else I would go the whole day talking about <laughs> Bishop. So I try to time myself to three minutes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Um, I realized that Amen. Truly, when the Bible says God is the God of the hearts, we have witnessed somebody who has been lifted because he humbled himself. Because the research of our celebration is a resurrection, I'll try to add Nyana. My, my we cannot possibly talk about anything here and not acknowledge your When Bishop said, you know, people are coming all the way from Limpopo and other areas to come and fellowship, but yet people just around the corner are not able to wake up and fellowship. Bishop province It is not his job. Bishop. Being fed. When we meet here and refepua, he is raising disciples. Bishop when we live here, we must go and offload what we have eaten here. It is not his job. He's already done it here. I'll give you a testimony. When Bishop said we took what we learned here and implemented at home, he was very correct. I took one fundamental thing, reducing officing le bishop. Are, are orona, our children. Labona My children. Ka, he put his phone on the table. And he said, Do you see this phone? phone I'm not bombarded with calls. Mamela, na phone call. People calling me that they're in trouble. Saying that I need to pray for them all ba, the time. And he said, this shows that what I am doing, I'm doing it correctly because people are able to stand up and face whatever that are is coming against sure. them without having to call me sure. all hours of the day. Sure. Amen. Amen. When sure. I went back home with uh, my dear husband, the, the people that God has brought to us to minister to one of the things we made sure that we did is to raise a strong people for God. Today, we have people in the church that are able to deliver their own children in their homes. People standing on Sunday and saying, my child couldn't walk and I sat in the name of Jesus. People that are saying, Go high, that's why I'm becoming sure. blind and deaf. They say, so I go to us. But we hear testimonies saying, they call me mommy, by the way. I give them to go Greg and they say, but mommy, when I woke up, and now I can hear. But when they wake up, or when I woke up, mommy, there were things coming out of my ears and now I can hear. But mommy, now we can see. Because of the power in the blood. Because of what we are taught. So, impact your bishop. If it's Lokon has landed on me. And then it went over to those that God has called to us. So this dear man is multiplying himself.
KBC, let us rise up. No, you can't be beaten by the Pope. Let's go raise people for God. Bishop is already doing his part. Let us do ours. Let me close on my last minute. In this time of resurrection, I want to remind you of something. When I read the book of Acts, I realized that when yeah. Jesus was crucified, the enemies thought they are done with him. Even those that believed in him thought, that maybe they believed in vain. Because there was a lot of doubt. But you see, the weaknesses, not really weaknesses, are there to remind that it is not over. So the apostles were willing to go to jail and be whipped. Just so they can remind the people that it's not over, it's just beginning. Then Apostle Paul came. The Bible says he was the last one. He came to remind us of what is Jesus continuing to do. We are here today. So Sarina Kucholeja Pili through us what he's still doing in heaven. Ours is to perpetrate exactly what he's doing in heaven. So we must get out of here and the sick must be healed because Rina we were here. The blind must see because of us. The lame must walk because of us. Those that are in bondage must be freed because of us. Bless the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. There's fire in Mokopani. Hallelujah. Shall we stand and I'm going to ask our pastors to come. We are so grateful of what the Lord is doing in their lives. We're just going to be um, praying for them. Glory to Jesus. Shall we stretch forth our hands to this place? Hallelujah. Father in heaven, as we endeavor to serve thee through your son Jesus, thank you that you are working even behind the scenes. Thank you today that we are seeing the results thereof. We bring to you Ndateke Kana Limne. Ritlisa Huwe Nantateke Kana and Mufumad Wahai. Light of Zion Ministries. Light of Zion Ministries. Father, we thank you that you sustain them. For you are the God who always finish what you start. Now that they have come home today, with such a great testimony, we lay hands upon them as apostles in this house to say, let the grace of God, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit guide them in everything that they do Lord we speak growth great growth multiplication we speak blessings we speak advancement we speak favor upon them let the will of the Lord burn the fire in them so great that it will be noticed by the nations. I pray that the doors you have set for them shall continue to open. I pray that sons and daughters you are raising through them shall be so great in the ways of God. We pray for those who gave birth to them in the flesh that they'll be able to look at them and realize it was the will of God that brought them into this world. Now we pray that 
every weapon formed against them shall not prosper. And every word spoken against them shall not come to fruition. We declare here from KBC that these, our son and our daughter, shall walk great in the area you have called them and internationally. This we declare in Jesus' name. Let, Let miracle signs and wonders continue to follow. Let the prophetic utterances flow from their lips in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give the Lord a big hand of praise. Thank you, Lord. This is it. This is it. Thank you so much. God bless you. Daba yaka daba yaka fati. Kihuri kihu. Lihu tibi sali. Bahesu. Tamo ye bono tamo. Before we sit down, we thank the Lord for what he is doing in the lives of his servants. Church of God, we are talking about kingdom impact. This is what the Lord wants us to understand in this season. And in talking about kingdom impact, we are revisiting the Great Commission. And we want to say to you, the church must go. It is not for them to come. We are fishers of men. Fish never comes. It is the fisherman who goes where the water is, where the fish is. Two things about the Great Commission. The first one is that the Lord says all authority is given unto him. And he delegates that authority to us. That when we step out and face the world, we are not coming from a place of cowardice. We are not coming from a place of weakness. We are not coming from a place of powerlessness. We are coming from a place of utmost power. He says, Go to all the nations. Our mandate is big. And that's how we must wake up every day. Understanding we are sent to the world. To the nations. To take the gospel. To the nations. Now, here's the part that many of us need to embrace in this teaching. He says we must make disciples of all the nations. In other words, we must be at a place where nations can learn from us. So in other words, the church cannot hide. The church cannot be behind. The church cannot be beneath. We've got 
got to be the head. You cannot teach the classroom from behind. You've got as a teacher, you've got to come to the front. Am I talking to the right people yes, here? Now, when we talk about impact, we are talking about influence bringing about change bringing about transformation and in our study i said to you that there are seven mountains of influence and if the church has got to bring impact we cannot shy away from those mountains and we cannot be at the at the at the at the, at the foot of the mountain we must be at the top these seven mountains are spheres of influence in life they are gates of influence they are centers of dominion and those are the mission fields we must occupy we're talking about the mountain of family Never treat your family as a by-the-way thing. In family, you influence because you don't know who are the people that are going to come out of that family. Let's build our children. Bring strength to them. Let's bring strength to our spouses. Family is the bedrock of everything else. There's a mountain of religion. People are hungry for God. If the true God is not presented to them, they'll fall for pseudo gods. Are you with me, somebody? The third mountain is a mountain of government. The church must influence where decisions are made. And I'm going to say to you, church, this year, don't be lethargic. Go and vote. Because that's how you set the direction of a nation. If you complain and you don't vote, how complain how vote? Your complaint is nullified. Glory to Jesus. Amen. There's a mountain of media. We'll still talk about that. There's a mountain of business. And there's a mountain of education. These are places where the church must go to influence. Because that's where people live. That's where people rule. That's where people make plans. That's where people transact. That's where people learn. That's where people write. If you're looking for people, how you will find them in these seven mountains of influence. Not within the church walls. Here we strategize. And then we climb the mountain. Glory to Jesus. Amen. So today I want us to look at the mountain of arts. Or the mountain of entertainment. Glory to Jesus. Come on, let's lift up our hands in the presence of the Lord. Father in heaven. Thank you, Lord. Guide us in this in this discourse today. Yes, Lord. You have gathered us in this house, and we are so inspired by testimonies that come forth as we deliver your word. So now we pray that the message today will strike it home yes, Lord. with your children in this house. Thank you, Lord. We ask this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Glory to Jesus. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's turn, let's turn together to Psalm 150. 
Haripetlem Pesaleme, ya 150. Psalm 150. Pesaleme 150. Reading six verses in that psalm. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with a trumpet sound. Praise him with a lute and harp. Praise him with a tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Our second scripture is Second Timothy. Chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 to 4. Paul writing to his disciple or to his protege, Timothy, he says, But understand this. That in the last days mm. there will come times of difficulty. For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, mm. arrogant, abusive, mm. disobedient to their parents, sure. ungrateful, mm. unholy, heartless, unappeasable slanderous without self-control brutal not loving good treacherous reckless sullen with conceit lovers of pleasure sure. than lovers of god tiba hobani mehle nya ka tello ho tla hlaha dinako tsa bohloko hobani batho e tla ba baithati le ba rata le ruo le bakaki le ba ikakasi le ba nyefudi le ba sautlweng batswadi ba bona ba hloka ntebogo le bo rapedi e tla ba ba sena le rata la hlaho le ha e le ho tshepeha ba etselletsang ba bang ba sa tsebeng ho itshwara ba se hloho ba hloyang ba molemo e be ba eki ba halifi le ba ikhumusi ba rata mennate ya nama you look at that verse 30 years ago 30 years of fitting that scripture felt so far-fetched today you look at that scripture you say i i i i it is happening when God created men, He created men to worship Him. We were created to worship and to praise God. When God put men here on earth and gave Him what to do here on earth, the aim was that thereby He will live in acknowledgement of His Creator. That all the gifts that God has given to Him, He will use those gifts to worship and bring praise unto God. But way after the fall, we completely see a different human being. A, a human being who loves self. A human being who loves money. A human being who is proud and arrogant. Abusive. Disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, without self-control, brutal, 
brutal, not loving good, reckless, lovers of pleasure than lovers of God. So there is a mountain that when God set it up or oh, there is a sphere of influence which when God set it up it was supposed to give glory and honor to him. And that is the mountain of arts creativity that God has planted in men so that that creativity like flowers like other plants like all other creatures it will bring glory to God when we talk about arts or we talk about entertainment it is a very influential mountain and it attracts millions of people people appreciate arts people appreciate entertainment and that is why uh, entertainment comes through music. Have you ever seen people who go to concerts? Are there people in this house? Have you ever seen people who go to concerts? Some of them stand in the midst of rain. Rain just rain just dropping on but them. as long as there's do, do, but as do, long as there's do, 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 they do, ain't going do. home no it doesn't matter hello they, they ain't going home sports sports just just look at the derby huh? yeah. 94,000 capacity that's where people go entertainment, entertainment. Fashion, fashion, dance, dancing, acting, actor, poetry, filmmaking, drama, drama. These are some of the uh, 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 flesh lights on the mountain of entertainment. So when the Lord says. Go ye into all the worlds of men. He is sending us there so that we can bring the gospel there. Do you hear me? So, there is something in men that when he is happy, he wants to hear music or when he's depressed or when he's relaxing he wants to hear music when people are happy they want to dance when people are want to express gratitude they become poetic are we together when, when people want to be beautiful, they, 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 cut, they cut clothes. They, they want to look a certain way and that is how fashion is born. But you see, the creative arts in men was put in there by God. God wants to see a creative human being. God wants to see a, 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 a happy human being. That is why dancing starts in the church. Music starts in the church. Are we together, saints? Amen. Poetry.
poetry starts in the church. That's why when you read the book of Psalms, the, books of, the book of Proverbs, the, these are expressions of the art of uh, uh, poetry. Poetry and song. These are things that God has embedded in us. So, where art is where art is displayed, creativity shows up. The God of Genesis chapter 1 is reflected in the creation of man. What man composes, what man can set out through his own hands. Art is so unique that it is infinite. In other words, it is like a it, it's like a bottomless pit there can just be such great creativity as long as we live we're gonna see many creations that a man can do it is because God created him that way glory to Jesus Amen. that's why when you spend time with God God will give you visions he says he's the God who can cause you to create wealth creativity comes from the presence of God glory to Jesus Amen. That is why as believers we must allow ourselves to be creative I thank God for what our young people keeps on doing here on the stage and, and what the, their mind is, is inexhaustible they keep on bringing such beautiful things that impact us now the world of art that's where young people live are we together Amen. you're not going to find young people in boring gogo like stuff they, they, they are full of life they want to sing they want to do things with their hands so it is because God has given them creativeness. And that's where they live. And that is why we find them in places that the devil has perverted. Now, if you go to the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel 28, I think, verse 14. Ezekiel 28, verse 14. The prophet speaks about the devil, but talking to a certain nation, but he's actually talking about the nature of the devil or the nature of Lucifer. He says, you were created a beautiful angel no fault was found in you hallelujah Amen. and he says and God put you on the mountain of God so when 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 sin was found in him because because of pride he knows the importance of being an angel of music on a mountain. Mm. So he knows that if he has got to affect people's lives, he must do it from the mountain of entertainment or, or from the mountain of art. This is something that we must understand as a church. That if we fear, 
that mountain we will lose young people because that mountain attracts them. Young people live in creative arts. That's why they are fascinated by fashion. Huh? You can make a jean and give it big holes here. And then put nice embroidery around the hole. The young people would love something like that. That's where they live. And so, if we can't get on that mountain, because the devil has captured that mountain. Do you hear me, saints? Do you hear me? I say the devil has done what? He has captured that mountain. Because just five years of a young person around the mountain of entertainment where he doesn't hear God he's not shown that through creative arts they can serve God they will find perversion on that mountain what is perversion Perversion is when you take something that was good. You turn it around for evil. Perversion. So the devil has perverted sex. He has perverted music. Poetry. Art and fashion. He is expressing his evil through those things. He's perverted sex. God has blessed sex to happen within the confines of marriage. The devil pulls his out and says, why wait for marriage? And then thereafter, the pressure the stresses that comes with sex out of marriage has destroyed many people. Ah, allow me to speak. Ah, Hallelujah. You sleep with him. You thought you were entertaining yourself. A child is born. And he says, no, I never, th I, we were making love, we were not making a child. Then she says to you, do you think I can marry a fool like you? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Perversion. Promiscuity. By the time marriage comes, you are tired. Utapile. Or should I pack right there? Perversion. So he has perverted sex. He's put it on social media. social media. He's put it on television. television. And you're sitting looking at people jumping into bed. They are not even married. They are not even related. It's entertainment. X-rated stuff. It's amazing that when, whenever they say, 
Those under 18. Mama, what ma kata? Have a calabari age restriction 18. Should not watch. But Everybody is, is over 18. Mama, but you can't find about over 18. Seba hudi le tlar. All of them are adults. Perversion. Silafato. Music. Mino. This is music to destroy you. Are we together? Yeah. Insulting, insulting fashion embroidery. Lady Apparat, Rock Anang. Baba Nabatu is who are Oregon touring. I'm a slut. Kuru, my man. Obana, how to this war? Onana, I am a promote. Oregilas keep us in what you are a gilly take out to see a pair of tabby. It's terrible. Get tempe today. Today, there are people who wear stuff that when, when you meet them in the mall. You are with your wife. You don't know where to look. Gaje no na le motering. Ha parent o tsa mali mo fumadi wa ho. Ha o tse mo shebekai. Who makes these things? Ke manga e tsa ntotse. Is the father of perversion. Ke ntata di tshila. And what is amazing they sell. Ke le ntse maka tsa di rekisa ha. Better. Di rekisa ha ho lo ntotse. That normal stuff. Ho feta ntotse halalelang. This mountain Tabaye is very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. It makes children to cry. When the mom wants to take them into pep store, they run bricks. Do you work? They want labels. Somebody say this mountain. This mountain is dangerous. Is dangerous. So, amen. Mm. So. Now, what the devil has done, he has turned it into a poisonous chalice. We offer to the Taba Ena, even to Ena Lico Lichefu. You see, a poisonous chalice is, is beautiful and good. But when I tell you, I said that I'm going to put wrapping paper in clay. This guy can package. I'm talking about the gift wrap. But inside, it is poison. Lichefu. People go there. What do we have more? When they wake up the next morning, they don't know what hit them. People go there, dressed up and nice. When they go home, they regret why they went there. Because there's a poison in the chalice. So how do we how do we get them from this mountain? How do we bring them off from this mountain? So we as the church must understand. First of all, because the danger of this mountain is that it's it's the poison even spills into the church. Sure. I say the poison of this mountain flows into the church as well. Because on this mountain of entertainment, there's money. Wow. Hello. You know, for me, what is amazing about entertainment entertainment is that you can't eat it. You can't wear it. But it has more money than the farmer. Sure. 
minutes. Somebody stands on the stage, twist their waist three minutes. When he leaves, so the check account. He's got a fat check. But a man and a woman works in the farm. Sweat. Standing there during the day. End of the month. Pittance. And the very people who are going to the entertainment are eating the products of the farmer. They'll pay 1,200 for VIP seating or even 10 to 20,000 for VIP seating. But when they buy, they buy a bag of tomatoes, they'll discount you down from 50 rand to 25 rand. People fill the stadium, but what at the stadium? To watch men kicking a round ball. On short pants. But then said short pants. And a number at the back. I was reading the other day, one of the highest paid soccer players in South Africa is getting 1.4 million month South Africa or you are shaking 1.4 million for kicking a ball Mamel for Raya Bolo 90 minutes 90 minutes say four four ninety minutes in a month one of those games he's benched end of the month 1.4 million you've gone to school you have swept you have written exams this guy has never been to school the devil doesn't make sense and, and sorry sorry listen i'm not i'm not saying uh, uh, I, I'm not saying don't watch soccer. I'm just saying sometimes you need to. A pastor friend of mine says, Soccer is the only game or is the only job where other people pay to come watch you work. And you pay to go watch the workers. And your regalia going there. What was saying? Fuvuzela. So this mountain has got money. This mountain promises fame. This 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 mountain promises being idolized. It is a mysterious mountain. How people are attracted to it. Are you seeing what Now, because of money and fame and being idolized, this poison comes into the church sure. as well. So you know what happens? Our artists the and artists those who are in creative arts are pulled out and to find themselves on that mountain no longer representing God but themselves no longer worshipping God but wanting the applause this mountain is dangerous now Elijah when Jezebel was occupying the mountain with his priests 
Elijah knew that he has to go up that mountain and restore worship unto the Almighty God. Are we together? Amen. Sure. We can't stand at the foot of this mountain and just criticize it. We have got to be immersed under the anointing so that God can restore upon us what people go there looking for and they don't get it because it is a camouflage of destruction. Glory to Jesus. Amen. So the devil knows that through music Camino. prophecy flows Se profito, se apalla. So. through music Camino. hearts are surrendered through arts no, no. God can be glorified so as Christians jale, jale, kaba Christi, Knowing where people are, we've got to get original that God must be worshipped on that mountain. Because if we don't immerse ourselves in God, we will find our musicians drunk on the mountain. And that's a sad fact. That's a sad reality. Sure. So from that mountain, the devil is sending out music of insults. Music that that promotes promiscuity. Music that worships the devil. Music that dehumanizes women. Music that lures people to drinking and doing wrong. From that mountain. Now that is why the devil I will be a pastor who encourages our musicians to write music. Write music. And, and, and let it not die inside you. Record it. Because through music, the devil speaks day and night. Eh? Sure. Day and night. In the text. So, when they are scrolling through, you know, sometimes when you put on Apple Music, it's got, it's got, a, it's got an algorithm, algorithm that, that picks up the, the vibe you like, so it will bring those songs. It will temperature ya pelo ya hao. Ebe utiseta di pina te ratu angwen. Kanko lui nya hao. Javas. Yes sir. Yes sir. It will a temperature ya pelo ya hao. Kaima. Ebe utiseta di pina te utwanela. Yes sir. Yes sir. Let them in the midst of those songs. But well, hands of a fat and a lip in a tail. Just say, man, Eloi. Aliwodimo. Hallelujah. Amen. How great thou art. When you record, how record you are getting into the spiritual realm. God can direct your message to somebody who is about to commit suicide. To somebody who is about to walk out of their marriage. To somebody who is about to do something. Thank you, Lord. 
those 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 were young boys here and there's there's a lot of them and 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 this church has produced some great soccer players but the challenge of the mountain took it away from them i was talking to a young guy the other day i said you you're going to be great in soccer but you're not going to be like your predecessors It is so beautiful that when it is the World Cup, and a young man gets called, he's a he's a he's a player, he's a player of of the match. And then they say to him, "How did you how did you make it? You are great, you are great today." He says, first of all, I want to I want to thank God, my Creator. That message goes to millions of people. Because there's a young man who acknowledges my dribbling skills and whatever and nothing if the heart can stop. Hallelujah. I don't like boxing. I, 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 don't, I don't know what type of a game do you bleed somebody. But people watch. Huh? So after winning, when you see somebody who says, how, how, I thank God that I beat him all of them. <laughs> when people stand on the on the on the on the, on the big stage of Grammy Awards. But the Grammy stage is just a whole lot of the Grammy. And they are given one and a half minute. About four, one and a half minute. To say something. For the Al Abuwe. And then they just say, Amazing Grace, how sure. sweet the sound. Sure. Man. That saved a wretch like me. Sure. When that person hits that note, sure. backsliders in the house, sure. backsliders who are watching, sure. something happens to sure. them. Sure. So we thank God sure. that in South Africa, sure. we don't only have black coffees. But we have the doctor to me as well. Who will go straight to the heart of uh, 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 Pretoria. Square what? Monument. For track monument. Who will go there and declare the name of Jesus upon, upon the head of apartheid? We enter where it is no one can enter. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. We, we need to conquer this mountain. But be careful. Because there is a poisonous, poisonous chalice on it. Mm. So let me close. In this Psalm 150, David speaks about let everything that has breath praise the Lord. That is what we were created for. To give praise to God. The perverter takes the gift, takes the heart, he takes the dance and he turns it around and makes it as, as though it is yours. As long as you don't worship God, he has achieved his mission. Many of the people that are making it big time in the music of the world, the devil dragged them out of the church. And he uses their voices 
to bring filth in people's minds and hearts. When you stand on that mountain without God, the price is too heavy. There'll be drugs. The devil can turn you into an animal. So my prayer is one. The church must not fear to go on that mountain. Let our sons and daughters prepare themselves in the presence of the Almighty God. Even if nobody listens to you, compose. Work hard and record. You never know. Okay, you never know. For me, one of the songs that I still don't know how it made it. Jerusalem. I can but the song made it. Are you with me? Amen. Somebody had to record it. It had to be in circulation. And suddenly, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. <laughs> Doctors. The doctor. Government people. But one muso. <laughs> right in the heart of the misery of COVID. Mamela, the COVID The song brought life. The only thing, the only thing I like about it. It was gospelish. gospelish Little atheists. Jerusalem. <laughs> Somebody from South Africa. South Africa. He did big. The whole world captured the song. We must not be afraid of this mountain. Let's compose. And let's occupy it. Because when God is glorified, young people will seek God. Homes will be healed. If you are a sports person, perfect your art to the glory of God. Because when you reach a certain stage, you will influence a lot of lives. I don't know what's happening in Pretoria. And I'm closing. In Pretoria, Pretoria, Billboards. The billboard. You'll, you'll come across a huge billboard. And it's just written John 3.16. And what's fella John 3.16? Come up here. Come down. Oh, come down to the south. Come down to the south. The trucks. You know, there's nothing as beautiful when you are driving and you are tired. And a truck passes and it's, it's written with big letters, the Lord is my shepherd. Sure. We must not be shy about this God that we serve. Where's Bokang? Is he gone? Where's Bokang? Young man. Ria Boka, Ria Boka. Where is he? Come here. Look sharp, young man. Look sharp, look sharp. Look sharp. Look sharp. <laughs> Come here. Look at him. Musha Hebe. Go 
God has put something in this boy. His voice has matured beyond his age. Now, now, you were born on this stage, sharpened on this stage. And I hear that the Lord is giving you songs at night. I hear that you are composing a lot of music. Throughout your life, I want you to know that there's a Jesus and a devil. The devil never puts anything in a human being. He steals it and he perverts it. The Lord bless you, young man. And may he take you very far. I take you very far. And I'm saying the same to every young person in the house of the Lord today. As you stand and sing and praise the Lord, there must be no pride in your heart. Just do it to serve the one who created you. He will pay the way for you to get to the top of the mountain where you will influence nations. When the Americans were here, they kept on asking me, Who is that young man? Then I realized I don't know your name. <laughs> so I met, I messed it up. You see now, I, I went there, I was looking for somebody, and you didn't even stand up because I called it. Yeah, but, but young men. Maybe to our worship team as well. Guys, remember every time you stand here. Don't worry about empty chairs in the church. There's over 2,000 to 3,000 people who are watching you who are not in the service. Let's make sure that our music hits home. Let's make sure that our music chases devils out of people's homes. Art is more than music, but I'm just saying because understand your ministry. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Never be proud. Walk in humility. You'll be amazed how far God is going to Love put you. Love you, son. Amen. Church. Let's pray for musicians that God will preserve them that the higher they go the more anointed they will be that the higher they go the more the spirit of God will use them kingdom impact let's stand Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are Alpha and Omega. Yes, we worship you, O oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you. We worship you. You are worthy, you are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha, you are Alpha. Oh, hand on me. We worship you, we worship you. You are worthy, you are worthy to We give you honor. We Worship you, we were. You are worthy, you are worthy. We give you honor, we give you. You are worthy, you 
well way. One more time. We give you all the honor we give you. Do it for God. Yes, Glorify God through it. If God has given you poetry, glorify God with it. If you are into filmmaking, glorify God through it. If you are into sports, glorify God through it. Because God has put you on that mountain of influence to change lives. Let's bow our heads. I feel in my heart there's somebody in this house there's somebody in this house God gave you a talent or talents but finally the poison of the chalice has put you pulled you aside you are more about self and your life ever since is now a center of depression, tears, frustration. But the Lord brought you to this service here today because He wants to rewire you. He wants to open your eyes again. He wants to set you free from the evil claws of the enemy that is choking your life and making you a bad influence. The Lord wants to change your life today. Yeah. And I want to pray with you. As I'm calling people to come forward who wants to give their lives to Jesus. I want you to come as well. Now, if you are here in this service and you have not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, the devil will use your life he will use your gifts to poison the world. Coming to God will help you to glorify Him through, through the gifts that He has given you in your life. Now, I want to pray for you who says, Men of God, I, I, I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to pray for you right now. Just lift up your hand where you are. Just lift up your hand where you are. Okay, now take a step and come to the front and come right here. I would love to pray with you. Just come right now. Just come right now. Just come right now. God will use your gifts to touch people's lives. God is going to help people through what he has given you. Don't allow the devil to steal what God has given to you. That's right, just keep coming, please. That's right, just keep coming, please. That's right, just keep coming, please. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay. Where, where, where is that person? It, it started with God. And it got, and I'm going to use a serious term. It got prostituted for the devil. But the God who loves you says, My child, I've appointed this day for you so that I can restore the glory my glory upon your life please I want you to come please come please come please come 
Please come. You are on a slippery road. You are on a slip. You have lost control. And the hand of Jesus is out to pull you back today. Thank you, Lord. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. Let's bring it back to the Creator. Let's bring it back to the Creator. Thank you, Jesus. I want all of you to lift up your hands in this place. Just lift up your hand, please. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to ask you to follow me in these words of prayer. Say with me, Jesus. Jesus. You are my creator. You are my creator. You know my days. You know my days. Even before I was born. Today. Today. I retrace my steps. I throw myself in your hands. You died for me. You shed your blood for me. And you rose from the dead for me. Now from today. My life must be your temple. Glorify yourself through my life. I thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, right here today, I break every spirit of deception, every lying spirit of darkness. Let your people be restored today. Here, Lord, I bring every gift represented here under the care of your mighty hand let the lord rule your life let the lord guide you let the lord cover you let the lord work through you let the lord touch nations through you in the mighty name of jesus and we give god all the glory come on let's give the lord a beginning of praise thank you jesus Someone shout, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, in this few minutes, I'm just surrendering you in the hands of Mama Mashase. Mama, Mama, Mama She's just going to share some information with you. But today begins a journey that you will look back at many years later. And you will say, I thank God for that day of the 7th 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 of April when I gave my life to the Lord. Amen. Just follow her please. Thank you God Lord. Bless you. God bless you. Come on let's give the Lord a beginning of praise in this house. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus. Come on church. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Father, under this unction and this anointing, we silence every contrary word. We silence every pain. We silence every sickness. We silence every confusion in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the Lord be glorified in your life. Let revival be ushered into your spirit again. Let your strength be renewed like an eagle. Let the Lord restore the joy of his salvation upon you. We declare this in Jesus' mighty name. You are more than conquerors through him who loved you we bless the lord we thank the lord receive it now in jesus mighty name and let us just say amen. amen we're gonna give unto the lord and the lord bless you as we give if you've got your tithe with you and you need an envelope the ushers will pass an envelope to you and if you are giving electronically the account number of the church will come on the screen as we give unto the lord this morning glory to jesus thank you lord Thank you, Jesus. Let's pray. Father, bless this moment. A moment of acknowledgement 
I am who I am because God blessed me. I have what I have because God brought it my way. I am who I am today because his hand is protecting me. Now, Lord, we're coming with our offerings, thanksgiving, and obedience to your word. Thank you that every time you lift us up at this time to new horizons, bless your people as they give. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen.
Pastors, just for 10 minutes, can we just meet in the boardroom? In the board, all our pastors. Baba Hulul, Baba Chal, yeah. All our pastors, all our pastors. Amen. We have such a big delegation of pastors here. So, can we just quickly meet? Uh, there's something that we need to share with you. Um, but God bless you. Amen. Are you glad you are in the house of the Lord today? Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's lift up our hands as we receive the benediction. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the empowering Spirit, the comforter, the teacher of the church, the revealer of secret mysteries, be upon you as you continue to bring impact wherever the Lord has put you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you, Jesus.